Well, I managed to do it. I made a restricted token. And this is it here. Uh, I wonder what that's that. Uh, no, no, what, who am I? Oh, who am I? Okay, I'm Alan, see? Now look at this. Oh, is this running? Oh, yes, it is running. See, I can't go in my top secret, <laughs> top secret data. Now, here is my, <clears throat> here is, well, I'm first to explain, without going into detail on the function calling, which took a long time to figure out, and uh, I thought I had to do more than I had. really did, but anyway, um, according to the Following along through the help file, as they call it, help. Um, I want to call that function, and it takes you know, this function, but I want to keep this. Create restricted token, okay? No. This allows you, it turns out, that creating a, a, an actual access token is something that only the, the system is allowed, pretty much allowed to do. However, <clears throat> the exception to the rule is if uh, if it's a copy of yourself, that is, it's a restricted version of your own token, uh, and in that case, uh, you don't need to have this privilege, which is one of the, the highest privilege. This this is the highest pri privilege. Privilege, pretty much. I mean, um, uh, that's like you know, you're giving someone a a ticket to, to be on my machine. It's like giving someone a, a, a free ticket to the <laughs> to, to the fair. Well, um, as explained in this uh, function here, uh, I don't want to say that stupid thing. And I'll do a resident and I must have such and so but I'll not, not use the VN. Typically, yes, must have this magic privilege. That's like, um, you're you're the authent that's the authent the authenticator part, right? Like uh, they say, NTS or the when you have an SID, uh, that came from uh, NT authority, the authenticator. Um, but I'm not making a. Uh, I'm not creating a process uh, as a different user. It's myself, and uh, it's a restricted version of my primary token. So this privilege is not required. If the necessary privileges are not already enabled, then this function apparently enables them 
for the duration of the call. Uh, and then this stuff that I'll have a look at. Now, uh, this is one of those functions, you know, where it's got like 20,000 things that you've got to fill in. So I probably didn't put the right things in. But somehow I managed to get it to go. One thing it said, don't use, don't use the default desktop. And I think I'm using the default. It is using the default desktop. And they said that that's a big security risk for some reason. I don't know if it say that. Security or not. Okay, not that. Hmm. Yeah, see, this this is what I was using. When, that's the first time I ever saw this come up. Because I, I don't know what to put in this startup info. So, so I just called the function that gets my startup info and passed it on through. Now, what? Why do I not want that? By default, creates has non-interactive window station with an invisible desktop. <laughs> That's not what happened to me. Cannot receive well. No. See, I don't know. I have to read through this. But look. So you know, it's a bit confusing. Because I'm printing out a lot of things here. Uh, this here number here, I believe, is the actual logon session number. And everybody's got the same one. See? Even uh, Lowly Allen here has one. This Lowly Allen Oh, oh no, not that. Oh, where are the other Allen? Only oh, got two. No, I got three. Oh. I can go in here, right? Um, so this this user, which has uh, hardly any privileges at all, can go in here. But this user, who is an administrator, can't go in there. And the reason is. That, uh, although a lot of these are enabled, I disabled this organization. And only Allen's, see? Now, it's not that I'm being denied access to that. Like, there's, there's no denials on that. Um, Folder. It's just that you have to be a member of uh, Only Allen's, the Only Allen's group, which I, I created myself. I should have called it Friends of Al or something. Uh, and I did that using the just the this thing. Yeah. There's a, this uh, policy thing doesn't really 
uh, uh, have a make group thing. It's only for managing the ones that are already there, I think. So where is it? There it is. Okay, users and groups. Groups here. And there are only two um, users that are in my only Allen's group. I want to rename it to Friends of Allen. And see now this one is a is a just a standard user. I could bring that user on board here, uh, like with Ryan. But I have her. Yeah, I've got her. Password. So that she's going to be on. Um, she's going to be in in our in our, our session. I should have this. I want to talk about this session thing because I've noticed some interesting interesting agreements with with what the help file says. User. Yes. And tuck it. Uh, Colon. Oh. Nice. Now I'm tuck it. So I randomly generated these um, passwords, so I don't, I can't remember what they are. I have it written down. Okay. Yeah. See. Um, Miss Nantucket here. <clears throat> Has the same. Oh, come on, yep. Every time my fridge starts, my mouse stops working. It's, it's in the same session. It's been invited into our, into our happy little world session. Uh, to uh, be involved in this experiment. Um, so now that identifier number is in fact the one that's printed out as authentication ID. That's the last thing printed out. Session authentication. Uh, session authentication. Okay, not not authentication. Session authentication is twenty seven seven three three. You know, I, I think that's an uh, LUID. It, there's actually, it, it's actually listed um, here. See? Is that right? No, that's a different number. <coughs> well, at this point in the video, um, I spent about 15 minutes searching for the, the reason why those two numbers were different. And I've cut that out now. Uh, so either, uh, well, I guess I'll, I'll upload this shortened, shortened version, which is only going to be about uh, 15 minutes long instead of half an hour. And, uh, um, uh, something else later, later on. Okay. Anyway, so the thing is, it also tells me uh, that that's a restricted token. And that was the point I was very happy. Oh yeah, Miss sorry, Miss Nantucket here. It's just a regular old user. Is one of my pals. See this. Regular old user, not even an administrator, 
uh, can go in this directory when an administrator version of my cell can't and I mean even user Allen I can't go into my own uh, directory and there are no denials all it is is that um, there's nothing that grants me any access to that directory so I can't go in there you have to have everything has to be explicit okay Thirty-three, seven, three, seven. Okay, so that's fixed. Okay, everybody's okay now. <laughs> All right. Okay. So it's just a stupid, another stupid. Uh, okay. So now that that is um demonstrated at least one thing uh, the, uh, the the crippled administrator wherever here can be identified using this and that's six token 6780 so I can run from here is a restricted token this one shouldn't even need any it's checking its own token it's restricted it still has all those rights by the way I didn't remove any rights but all, ki all kinds of rights Let's see it said 23, 23 privileges. They're still enabled. But uh, I can't do that one thing. Okay, I'm going to upload this as a progress report. Something went, moved in the plus direction. For one thing, we know that that flag is not, has nothing to do with the, uh, the, the number. So the text in the help file is completely uh, misworded. It, it uh, doesn't it doesn't it doesn't say what, what it actually does. And that's uh, that's what I'm going to try to uh, throw together for the next thing. Is that what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to try to take that one sentence and uh, translate it into English. <clears throat> and then I'll show you a bunch of other things I found out. Okay, see you.